Welcome to the 1996 Chevrolet Productivity Network Passenger Car New Product Training Program, one of the most comprehensive product training packages Chevrolet has ever produced. It integrates video modules, an all-new computer-based learning program, and product guide reference manuals into a flexible package that offers something of value for everyone, from the newest hire to the most seasoned veteran. The 1996 Passenger Car Trainer Pack includes two videotapes, plus a meeting leader's guide. The featured program on tape number one is the Chevrolet Value Walkaround. It's a thorough, hands-on product presentation that covers the major features found on 1996 Chevrolet passenger cars. Along with reviewing vehicle features, how they function, and their customer benefits, the presentation also includes examples of how product features can be demonstrated to customers. The vehicle used for the walk-around is a 1996 Lumina, but as you'll see, most of the features presented are found across the passenger car lineup. This program is just one example of how input from retail managers and salespeople like yourselves is being acted upon in this year's training programs. We held special focus groups, visited dealerships, and interviewed salespeople and sales managers. One of the things we heard loud and clear is how busy you are. By putting all of the detailed descriptions of common product features in one program, like the Chevrolet Value Walkaround, we can minimize the redundancy in the programs and optimize the time you spend viewing the videos. The Chevrolet Value Walkaround is then supported by individual product line segments for Cavalier, Corsica and Beretta, Lumina and Monte Carlo, Camaro, Caprice and Impala SS, and Corvette. These programs concisely cover the 1996 lineup for each model, what's new for 96, and the major selling features in each of the space categories, safety, performance, appearance, comfort and convenience, and easy to own. They also include details and demonstrations on unique features for each product line that were not covered in the Chevrolet Value Walkaround. Tape number two features an automotive basics program called Car Concepts. It's separated into standalone modules that provide fundamental training on the design and operation of key automotive systems. Those new to automotive sales will find these segments especially valuable. Tape 2 also includes a program called Buying Power, which examines the influence women have in today's automotive market. Originally released last year as a special segment of Inside Track, it includes the insights of consumers and top retail personnel. A new element in this year's training package is a computer-based learning program. It focuses on the fundamental design, operation, and benefits of features found on Chevrolet and Geo products. It's a user-friendly program that allows you to pick your topics and go at your own pace. The colorful program screens include easy-to-understand feature illustrations, concise descriptions, and animated graphics. All dealerships will get a set of program diskettes. They are not copy-protected and can be loaded onto multiple computers at your Chevrolet Geo dealership. See the diskette labels for system requirements. Again, for 1996, all salespeople will also receive a copy of the Passenger Car Product Guide. It doubles as both a great self-study aid and a valuable reference manual for looking up key information when customers have specific questions. You'll also receive your own personal copy of the training video programs. This tape gives you the opportunity for self-study at your own pace. Chevrolet will continue to keep you up to date on the products you sell and the competitive marketplace during the year through the Inside Track video magazine and Inside Scoop product updates. Together, all of these materials make up a resource library you can utilize throughout the model year. The Chevrolet Lumina is the model we'll be using in this walk-around presentation to showcase the features and value built into every Chevrolet passenger car. Most of the features I'll cover in the next few minutes are found across the entire Chevrolet passenger car lineup. My explanations of their functions and benefits, as well as my product demonstrations, apply just as much to cars like Cavalier and Camaro as they do to this Lumina. The features we'll be covering are an important part of every Chevrolet passenger car presentation. So, let's get started. Most Chevrolet passenger cars feature five mile per hour front and rear bumpers, which is twice the federal government standard. 
Their function is to absorb the force of low-speed impacts, like those that sometimes happen in parking lots or when the guy behind you at an intersection jumps the green light. These bumpers can reduce damage to the car's sheet metal and body structure, which helps lower repair costs. Now, styling is certainly a matter of personal preference, but there are many design features that Chevrolet passenger cars share that contribute to their attractive appearance and aerodynamic efficiency. Sloping hood lines not only help the car slice through the wind, they also give the driver a clear, unobstructed view of the road from behind the wheel. Flush-mounted glass helps reduce wind noise and contributes to a quieter ride inside the car. And the same is true for these aircraft-style doors that also incorporate concealed drip rails to prevent water from falling on people as they get in and out of the car in wet weather. One of Chevrolet's most important appearance features is base coat, clear coat paint. Base coat, clear coat is standard on all Chevrolet passenger car models. As the name implies, there are extra layers of a clear coating on top of the color coats. This gives the car a bright, long-lasting shine and helps protect its finish from fading and other harmful environmental effects. Underneath their paint finishes, all Chevrolet passenger cars feature extensive corrosion protection. On most models, body panels are made of two-sided galvanized steel. The roof is galvanized on the outside only because the inside portion of the panel doesn't come in contact with the elements. Camaro and Corvette use special composites extensively throughout their body panels, and these composites will never rust. See the Automotive Technology section of your 1996 Passenger Car Product Guide for a full explanation of corrosion protection features. Now let's talk about performance, and that starts with the engine. Chevrolet has an extensive lineup of engines, from the 2.2-liter four-cylinder that's standard on Cavalier, Corsica, and Beretta, all the way up to the new LT4 V8, available on the 1996 Corvette. An important system they all share is fuel injection. Multi-port fuel injection is utilized on the 2.2-liter. All other engines in the 1996 lineup utilize sequential port fuel injection. Multi-port fuel injection has an injector at every cylinder. Each injector sprays a fine mist of fuel into the engine's combustion chamber simultaneously. The fuel is mixed with air. Then, based on the firing order of the spark plugs, the fuel-air mixture in the chambers is ignited. Sequential port fuel injection is similar in design to multi-port. The big difference is that, instead of spraying simultaneously, the injectors are timed to spray in sequence with the firing order of the spark plugs. Thus the name, sequential fuel injection. That means the fuel-air mixture in each combustion chamber isn't waiting for its turn in the firing order. It all happens in sequence. A major benefit of both systems is better combustion efficiency. This helps enhance performance, economy, and idle smoothness. To ensure that they are meeting emissions requirements, all 1996 models utilize an enhanced emissions diagnostic system called OBD2, which stands for Onboard Diagnostics Second Generation. If the system detects a problem, the service engine soon light will illuminate. A solid light means there may be a problem with the emissions control system, even though the driver might not notice any change in the vehicle's performance. A flashing light is more serious and means that the engine is misfiring. This situation can both increase emissions and cause the vehicle to run rough. Detailed instructions on what to do in both of these situations are covered in each vehicle's owner's manual. Chevrolet passenger cars also offer a choice of manual and automatic transmissions. The availability of each model is covered in the product line presentations. As you know, a lot of safety features on cars today are required by federal law, so everybody has them. Anti-lock brakes, however, are not mandated. Even so, Chevrolet has standard four-wheel ABS on all passenger cars except the base Lumina, which offers it as a low-cost option. This is a significant Chevrolet advantage against much of the competition. On most models, you can see the ABS control module under the hood. As you pointed out, you can explain how an onboard computer automatically pumps the brakes several times per second during hard braking. This prevents the wheels from locking and helps the driver maintain steering control even when the brake pedal is fully depressed. Opening up the hood is also a good way to show some of Chevrolet's easy-to-own features. For example, all engine service areas and components are laid out cleanly. 
fluid dipsticks and reservoirs are clearly labeled and within easy reach. Here's the oil dipstick, the oil fill, and the automatic transmission fluid dipstick. Important fluid reservoirs are translucent, so you can check their levels by sight without having to open them up. Here's the engine coolant and the windshield washer solvent. It's easy for your customers to perform routine maintenance checks. Something all of your customers need to be aware of is that their new Chevrolets are factory filled with DexCool Long Life Coolant. This orange colored coolant is designed to remain in the car's engine for five years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. Owners should not mix traditional coolant with DexCool. Doing so may cause premature engine, heater core, or radiator corrosion. In addition, the engine coolant will require changing sooner at 24 months or 30,000 miles, whichever comes first. The use of DexCool across the model lineup is another great example of how Chevrolet is committed to providing your customers with hassle-free ownership. If you think back just a couple of years, the addition of features like Dexron 3 automatic transmission fluid, platinum tip spark plugs on most models, and now DexCool have greatly reduced the time and money it takes to maintain a vehicle. The front suspension components on Chevrolet cars vary by model. But what's most important to know is that all models have independent front suspensions. That means when one wheel hits a bump, the impact isn't transmitted across to the other wheel. This helps the tires maintain maximum contact with the road and minimizes the road shock you feel inside the passenger compartment when you hit a bump. Rear suspensions are either semi-independent or fully independent. Their role is also to help absorb road shocks and isolate the passenger compartment from jolts. Opening a door is a good way to help people visualize the car's body structure. GM engineers have made tremendous strides in recent years in their efforts to increase the overall structural rigidity. A more rigid body contributes to better handling, enhanced occupant protection, and improvements in interior quietness. Now, when somebody gets inside the car, one of the first things they'll notice is the driver's side airbag. All Chevrolet passenger cars are equipped with a driver's side airbag. And frankly, so are most other cars. But there is a difference. A difference that your customers will benefit from many times a month. Most Chevrolet cars use a full floating horn pad design. This means you can honk the horn simply by pressing on the center of the airbag cover. All Chevrolet passenger cars, with the exception of Corsica and Beretta, also have passenger side airbags. Both airbags are designed to inflate in the event of certain moderate to severe frontal impacts to help restrain the driver and front passenger. Airbags are designed to work in conjunction with safety belts, which should be worn at all times. It doesn't take long once you're inside to get comfortable in a new Chevrolet. The gauges are big, boldly marked, and easy to read. Chevrolet recently completed an extensive mystery shopping research project. One of the things that came to light was that some customers felt their salespeople could do a better job of pointing out and demonstrating the controls inside the car. It only takes a minute, and it's a good idea to point out these features before a demo drive and a delivery. The headlamps, parking lamps, and interior dimmer controls are always to the left. Of course, you have the turn signal and headlamp high beams, and this is where the electronic speed controls are usually located, too. Electronic speed control is a great feature to demonstrate when you're out on a test drive. Once the system is on, you can accelerate in one mile per hour increments by tapping on this button. And you can slow the vehicle speed by pushing in the button on the end of the stock. Once you release it, the vehicle will maintain the new slower speed. The climate controls are also within easy reach. All 1996 Chevrolet passenger cars, with the exception of Corvette, use rotary climate controls. They make it easy to select between the various air conditioning, heater, and defroster modes. Choose the fan speed and set the temperature. These are controls your customers will use virtually every time they get behind the wheel. Inside any Chevrolet, there's a long list of convenience features to point out and demonstrate, like cup holders, reading lamps, and map pockets. 
On cars equipped with power windows, there's an express down feature for the driver's window. Push the control down and release it. The window will continue to lower all of the way, which is a great convenience to have at drive-up windows or toll booths. On sedans, there are also lockout switches. You activate the lockout by pushing the button in. And when you do so, other people cannot operate their windows. The windows can only be lowered and raised by the driver. It's one of those thoughtful features that families with young children will appreciate knowing about. The same is true about Scotchgard Fabric Protector, which is standard on all Chevrolet passenger cars. It's applied at the factory to cloth seating surfaces, door panels, and carpeting, and helps keep spills from becoming stains. All automatic transmissions have a brake transmission shift interlock, and it's an easy feature to demonstrate at the beginning of a test drive. Start the car. And without pressing the brake, try to shift out of park. It won't go. Then press on the brake pedal and shift into gear. This safety feature is designed to help prevent inadvertent acceleration. All manual transmissions feature a safety starter switch. It requires the driver to press in the clutch pedal to start the car. This disengages the clutch and helps prevent the car from lurching forward when it's started. If you're presenting a Cavalier sedan, Lumina, or Caprice, they all feature standard child security rear door locks. You activate the security lock by placing this switch in the on position. When you do this, the interior door latch mechanism is disabled, and the door can't be opened from the inside. It can only be opened from the outside. This gives parents control of when their kids can safely exit the vehicle. The 1996 Lumina also features a new optional integrated child safety seat. It's available with a custom cloth and leather seat trim packages. Owners who will be using aftermarket child safety seats should always refer to their owner's manual for proper installation instructions. A couple of key points to keep in mind are that it's recommended to place child seats in the rear and to never install rear-facing child seats in the front seats of cars equipped with passenger side airbags. In addition, Lumina and Monte Carlo, as well as all GEO models, feature dual-mode safety belt retractors at all outboard passenger positions to help secure child seats in place. Normally, when an adult is buckled in, the shoulder belt is designed to be free moving for comfort. It only locks when it's needed to help restrain the passenger. When you use a child seat, however, you can secure it by pulling the shoulder belt all the way out like this, and then feeding it back into the retractor to lock the belt in place. Finally, let's move around to the back. All Chevrolet passenger cars feature long-life stainless steel exhaust systems. The pipes, converter, and muffler are built to resist corrosion, even in harsh winter climates. It's another example of the extra care Chevrolet puts into ensuring its vehicles are easy to own, long after they've left the showroom floor. A car's versatility is also very important to many people. This can be demonstrated by opening the trunk, hatch, or tailgate, and pointing out the features inside like this wide, flat load floor that can accommodate large objects and full carpet trim so valuable items like leather luggage don't get scratched or cut by sharp metal edges. Many models and trim levels also include a cargo convenience net. You can use it to secure smaller items so they're not rolling around in back. The window sticker is also another great way to sell the value. It reviews all of the standard and optional features on the vehicle and also has a list of everything that's included in the genuine customer care package. The package includes Chevrolet's bumper-to-bumper -bumper limited warranty, which covers everything on the car, including tires for 1996, for three years or 36,000 miles, whichever comes first. There's also 24-hour roadside assistance, courtesy transportation at participating dealers, and a courtesy key that is sent out after delivery. There are features not all manufacturers offer and they can go a long way in delivering ongoing satisfaction over the life of the vehicle. There's a lot of value packed inside of every 1996 Chevrolet passenger car. And you can bring the meaning of genuine Chevrolet to life 
by presenting and demonstrating all of these product features on every car you sell. The 1996 Cavalier appeals to buyers who want a reliable car that doesn't sacrifice comfort, style, or that fun-to-drive feeling. The entire Cavalier lineup, including this convertible, offers just that. Dependable, stylish vehicles with features you might expect to find only on higher-priced models. Cavalier offers a wide range of body styles and models that fit a variety of transportation needs. For 1996, the heart of the Cavalier lineup includes value-packed base two-door coupes and four-door sedans, and the up-level LS sedan. Rounding out the versatile Cavalier lineup are the Z24 coupe and, of course, the LS convertible. 1996 is the first full year of production for Z24 and convertible models, and both models offer excellent opportunities to increase your Cavalier sales. Z24 will continue to attract buyers who want a sportier, performance-oriented vehicle at an affordable price. Z24 features aggressive ground effects and a rear spoiler. Larger P205 low-profile performance radials mounted on 16-inch aluminum wheels. And under the hood, Z24 boasts a new standard engine, the 2.4-liter twin cam. The new twin cam is a sophisticated engine that a lot of people might not expect to find on a car in Cavalier's price range. New for Cavalier in 1996 is the 2.4 twin cam as the optional engine for the LS package and it's standard on the uh, Z24. The big difference between the twin cam and the quad four that we had before that is that we got larger displacement and we've got displacement where you need it. The bore and stroke has been revised to give you a longer stroke, gives you a little more torque at the low end. Also, the cam has been revised to give you better off-the-line performance. So what you're going to notice on this one compared to the 2.3 is better in-city, just uh, around town driving, uh, a lot more torque at the low end. Uh, zero to 60 times are almost a second better uh, with the 2.4 compared to the 2.3. So it's a real great improvement and it's power where you need it. It's down at the lower end. It has uh, five more foot-pounds of torque and it's down at the lower, uh, lower end where we hit the uh, peak torque as well. So I think people are going to like it because it's uh, around, the, around city driving, that's where they're really going to notice it. As Bill mentioned, the new twin cam delivers performance your customers will really notice. It generates 150 horsepower and 150 foot-pounds of torque at a very usable 4400 RPM. The new 2.4 liter twin cam is also available on LS sedan and convertible models. Again, 1996 will be the first full year of Cavalier convertible production. Like all Chevrolet convertibles, Cavalier was designed and built as a ragtop from the ground up. This is not an aftermarket afterthought. That means that Cavalier convertible features a rigid body structure that contributes to overall performance and handling and helps reduce the noise and vibration often associated with convertibles. Unlike many convertibles, Cavalier doesn't sacrifice on passenger or cargo room. In fact, rear seat passengers enjoy almost two inches more headroom and comparable legroom as in the coupe. There is also ample trunk room and the versatility of standard rear seat pass-through. Cavalier Convertible also features a roof that's designed to make open-top motoring a breeze. The new convertible we've got for Cavalier, the best feature of the whole car is the new top system. And I want to demonstrate how it works to show you how easy it is to put the top up and put it down. You want to pop the trunk, we'll show you. First off, in here we've got three passengers across the rear, which is really slick. We only had two passengers last year. We have a five-passenger car with a convertible. We have a full fold-down seat with a pass-through which is great. And to t put the top up, what you do is the center section, you just unsnap it here. The center se section folds forward. These semi-rigid pieces just fit in the trunk. And then the slickest feature of the whole top mechanism 
is this new single release. There's a button here, you press with your thumb, pull it down, and push forward, and the top will go up. Now as you watch the top go up, you see the side windows go with it. So when you bring it all the way up here, you simply push the handle back in place to latch it, and that's all there is to put the top up. Very, very simple operation, one-handed operation. It's a wonderful package, and uh, it's a great addition to the Cavalier. With both Z24 and convertible being available for the full model year, 1996 Cavalier sales should be better than ever, especially when you consider all the other great new features across the lineup. Let's take a look at some of them, starting with safety. Daytime running lamps become standard on Cavalier in 96. DRLs help make the Cavalier more visible out on the road, which helps reduce the risk of accidents. For improved vehicle security, the pass lock theft deterrent system is now standard on all Cavaliers in 1996. Unlike pass key 2, pass lock doesn't require a special key. This system features a microprocessor which quickly shuts down the vehicle if someone bypasses the lock mechanism. It also disables the fuel injectors for a full 10 minutes. That's what makes the system so effective. 10 minutes is long enough to deter most car thieves. And pass lock is a GM exclusive, so you won't find it on other manufacturers' vehicles. In fact, you won't find many cars in this price range equipped with any type of factory-installed anti-theft system. Many nationally recognized insurance companies actually discount their comprehensive premiums for vehicles that have a theft deterrent system like Cavalier's. In the area of performance features, Cavalier will surprise many buyers by offering traction control when the four-speed automatic is selected. Now this system works with the powertrain control module to detect wheel slippage. It then regulates shifting and wheel torque to minimize front wheel spin, offering an added level of control. Traction control is something that's added to the new four-speed automatic for 1996. It controls the spark. It also controls the vehicle shift patterns. It's a relatively simple system and very inexpensive, and it's standard on every single four-speed automatic transmission. With Cavalier having front-wheel drive, we've already got great traction in the winter, but the traction control gives you that added little plus for those kind of conditions. For instance, if you had a patch of ice with one wheel but not on the other, the traction control is great for there because it'll help just keep the car stable and secure. And also in conditions where you've got very poor traction, the traction control will give you the ultimate ability to, uh, to get out of those conditions, snow or slush or whatever it is. To dress up the base sedan, the W27 appearance package includes body color fascias and side moldings, 15-inch bolt-on wheel covers and touring tires. For added comfort and convenience, Cavalier's radios are enhanced with improved tactile feel and ergonomics. It makes it easier to tell the different control buttons by touch. An up-level cassette model with automatic tone control or ATC is added to the lineup. And a compact disc player with ATC is also new. A remote keyless entry feature is now available to lock or unlock the vehicle from distances of up to 30 feet. It's another example of a feature that customers might not expect in Cavalier's class. And finally, as with the rest of the 1996 Chevrolet lineup, onboard diagnostics or OBD2 is now standard. OBD2 helps diagnose and alert drivers to potential problems before they become more severe. Cavalier's level of standard safety features is one of its most impressive aspects, especially for the small car segment. Cavalier will continue to be one of the lowest priced cars on the market with standard dual airbags and anti-lock brakes. Plus, Cavalier has a world-class body structure, which was designed with front and rear crumple zones and side door beams for occupant protection. It also has path lock theft deterrent system and daytime running lamps features you won't find on many competitors. The extensive safety features alone make Cavalier a super buy. But Cavalier's got a lot more than that to offer a prospective buyer. Let's look at performance. Cavalier offers a choice of power teams to best meet your buyer's needs for fuel efficiency and power. The standard 2.2 liter L4 produces 120 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds of torque. 
That's a lot more power than many of Cavalier's competitors. For added power, the 2.4-liter twin cam generates 150 horsepower and 150 foot-pounds of torque for heart-pumping acceleration. The twin cam is standard on Z24 and optional on LS models. Cavalier also offers a choice of transmissions. There's a 5-speed manual with overdrive, a 3-speed automatic, and the 4-speed electronic automatic with overdrive and traction control. Cavalier was completely redesigned in 1995 to feature fresh aerodynamic styling. But there's more to this styling than just good looks. The sloping hood and low cowl give drivers a commanding view of the road. And with a variety of body styles and trims, buyers can pick the model that best suits their needs. Whatever style your customers choose, all Cavaliers feature base coat, clear coat paint to help keep them looking great for years. Inside, base Cavaliers also get new trim, which includes new seat fabric for an improved appearance. Cavalier's long list of standard and available equipment at such an exceptional price make it stand out from the competition. But it's the more than expected features like theater dimming interior lights, battery rundown protection, the Delco family of radios, and available remote keyless entry that put Cavalier on a different level than most bare-bones economy cars. All models, including the convertible, boast a standard full folding rear seat that makes loading longer items a snap. In back, the trunk's low liftover design also makes loading easier. No more lifting heavy loads up and over a high trunk wall. After the sale, your customers have the added benefit that their purchase is backed by features that will make the car easy to own and enjoy. Platinum tip spark plugs, an aluminized stainless steel muffler and tailpipe, Dexron 3 automatic transmission fluid and Dexcool long life coolant are all standard and intended to reduce regularly scheduled maintenance. And when you add them to the Chevrolet customer care package, Cavalier is a car that's truly easy to own. As you can see, Cavalier has a lot to offer. In a highly competitive market, it provides a host of safety and performance features at a surprisingly affordable price but it really surpasses the competition by offering these features with a higher level of comfort and style. When you add them all up, Cavalier is one of the best values on the road. This is the 1996 Chevrolet Corsica. For a legion of loyal owners, Corsica and Beretta have come to mean value. They're equipped with a long list of standard features that other manufacturers charge extra for, like four-wheel anti-lock brakes and air conditioning. With so much going for it, this 1996 Corsica is truly an economical, family-oriented car. Now, in a sportier two-door package, the 1996 Beretta offers the same kind of affordable values for coupe buyers. Together, Corsica and Beretta are the vehicles of choice for those customers who want a lot of car at a reasonable price. And in the face of higher-priced competition from Ford's Contour Mystique and Chrysler's Cirrus Stratus, Corsica and Beretta should provide an excellent sales opportunity for your dealership. The model lineup includes the Corsica sedan, the Beretta Coupe, and the Beretta Z26. Let's look at what's new for these vehicles in 96. Dexron 3 automatic transmission fluid and long-life Dexcool engine coolant are both new. Under normal operating conditions, these fluids may go 100,000 miles before scheduled maintenance. Both Dexron 3 and Dexcool make Corsica and Beretta cars that are easy to maintain and own. Now let's take a closer all-around look at Corsica and Beretta, starting with safety features. As you know, safety is an important concern for all of today's buyers. 
The 1996 Corsica and Beretta answer this concern with a total safety system that offers occupant protection and accident avoidance features. It includes a driver's side airbag to supplement the safety belt. Now, if your customers plan on putting infants or small children in the front passenger seat, they should use this special seat belt adapter to help secure the child's safety seat. The adapter is available through your parts department and installation can be done quickly. Make sure you ask your customers if they'll need this adapter. However, remember to advise them that General Motors recommends securing children in the rear seat of the vehicle. The steel side door beams strengthen the door and help to protect the occupants in glancing side impacts. A safety cage design reinforces the structure of the occupant compartment. And front and rear crumple zones are designed to absorb energy in accident situations. In addition to all of this, the Corsica and Beretta also offer several features that will help your customers avoid accidents in the first place. For example, four-wheel anti-lock brakes are standard. ABS helps the driver maintain steering control of the vehicle even during hard braking. This important feature is only available as a high-priced option on more expensive competitors. Daytime running lamps, or DRLs, are standard on Corsica and Beretta. DRLs increase the car's visibility for other drivers. The DRLs automatically switch on when the vehicle is started and they stay on until the vehicle is turned off or until the regular headlamps are turned on. DRLs are used extensively abroad, like in Europe and Canada. In fact, studies have shown DRLs have reduced multi-vehicle accidents by as much as 40% in Norway. Because General Motors is committed to safety, GM is the first major automaker in the United States to offer DRLs. In terms of performance, the Corsica and Beretta have a choice of engines. An efficient 2.2-liter L4 engine or a 3100 V6 for an outstanding combination of performance and efficiency. The 2.2-liter L4 engine with multi-port fuel injection is standard on the base Corsica and Beretta Coupe. It produces 120 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds of torque. For Beretta, a five-speed manual transmission is standard with the L4 engine. A three-speed automatic is standard for Corsica with the L4 and optional for Beretta. The available 3100 V6, which is standard on Beretta Z26, delivers 155 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds of torque. And it features sequential port fuel injection, which enhances vehicle performance and economy. The V6 is teamed with a smooth shifting, electronically controlled four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive for excellent fuel efficiency. Both engines offer your customers an array of durability features like platinum tip spark plugs that can go 100,000 miles before the first scheduled tune-up under normal operating conditions. These spark plugs are more durable and longer lasting because the platinum tipped electrodes don't burn away. The new Long Life Dex Cool engine coolant, which can also last 100,000 miles, is standard. And when the vehicle is equipped with an automatic, it utilizes Long Life Dexron 3 automatic transmission fluid. In addition, the 3100 V6 has a low oil level sensor for added convenience. The sensor monitors low oil levels and alerts you when you need to add oil. This helps prevent costly engine damage. Besides having this outstanding combination of safety and performance features, both Corsica and Beretta are sure to have long-lasting good looks. The base coat clear coat paint will keep the finish looking new for years. Two-sided galvanized steel body panels, except on the roof, help resist corrosion. Corsica has a monochromatic look. Beretta Z26 also features a monochromatic exterior that includes a body color grille and lower aero body moldings to add to its own distinctive appearance. Inside, Corsica and Beretta are packed with a long list of comfort and convenience features. Features like a center console with integral armrest, battery rundown protection, and theater dimming interior lights. Standard CFC free air conditioning refrigerant keeps the passenger compartment cool without damaging the environment. In addition to all this, both Corsica and Beretta have many easy to own features like five mile per hour bumpers that deflect minor impacts. Rear safety belts with comfort guides are standard. They help adjust the seat belt to fit securely around small children. Once the kids are loaded up, Scotchgard fabric protector will keep the interior looking sharp. 
This is a great selling point for family buyers. We all know how quickly seats and other fabrics can get dirty during family outings. Finally, Corsica and Beretta owners can take full advantage of the genuine customer care program. Customers are taken care of for years after their purchase with a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper limited warranty and 24-hour roadside assistance, which gives your customers an around-the-clock safeguard whenever and wherever they travel. Now that's peace of mind. It's easy to see why Corsica and Beretta provide an outstanding value to your customers, offering all the features of the more expensive competitors at a more affordable price the Corsica and Beretta are sure to lead to even greater sales success for you in 1996. Success, as they say, is sweet. For the Lumina and Monte Carlo, success is backed up with positive media reports and J.D. Power's recent new vehicle study. That study rated both vehicles in the prestigious under 100 club, meaning less than one problem per vehicle on average. In fact, based on J.D. Power's data for vehicles with more than 30,000 sales per year, Lumina had the best new car quality of any vehicle ever in its initial year. And for both Lumina and Monte Carlo, success is being measured daily by increasing sales, as buyers find that both of these are the value leaders in the midsize car segment. For 1996, the Lumina is available in base trim, which offers an outstanding value that is unmatched by the higher price competition. An up-level LS model is also available and is the standard trim on Monte Carlo. The flashy Monte Carlo Z34 features styling additions like blackout trim along with the powerful 215 horsepower 24 valve 3.4 liter V6 for responsive performance. Although they were just introduced as 1995 models, there's plenty of new features for 1996 on both Lumina and Monte Carlo. Leather seat trim will be available on Lumina LS, offering a luxurious look and feel. And an integrated child safety seat is now optional for the rear bench on Lumina when custom cloth or leather seat trim is ordered. This convenient feature helps secure children to the seat and can be folded back out of the way when not in use. Lumina's and Monte Carlo's equipped with the 3.4 liter V6 will now feature four-wheel disc brakes as standard equipment. There are several new significant comfort and convenience additions as well. Separate temperature controls for the driver and front passenger are now available as an option. These controls allow front passengers to set different temperatures according to their preference. That's a feature you won't typically find in vehicles in this price range. A new leather wrapped steering wheel that features an additional set of radio controls is standard on Z34 and available on Monte Carlo LS. These controls allow drivers to change stations, change the program, adjust volume, or mute the sound completely without ever taking their hands off of the wheel. Finally, like all 1996 Chevy cars, both the Lumina and Monte Carlo are equipped with onboard diagnostics too. OBD2 helps detect engine and exhaust problems before they get too serious. Safety first. With Lumina and Monte Carlo, that begins with a total safety system that includes standard driver and front passenger side airbags. Anti-lock brakes are standard on all models except the base Lumina, which offers them as a low-cost option. When engineers designed these cars, the intent was to create a world-class body structure. Lumina and Monte Carlo's unibody design uses five integrated crossbars on the floor pan to stiffen the body. This stiffening contributes to a solid and secure feeling and improved ride and handling. The safety cage structure is enhanced with side door beams and special foam inserts behind the door panels. 
These features help both Lumina and Monte Carlo meet 1997 Federal Dynamic Side Impact Standards, which measure chest and pelvic injuries on front and rear seat dummies during a moving impact. In the Dynamic Side Crash Test, the moving car is hit broadside by a sled that emulates a full-size pickup at approximately 30 miles per hour. In the old tests, the car wasn't moving. As another validation to Lumina's safety, the National Insurance Institute recently ranked it as one of the best vehicles on the road in crash tests. For Lumina especially, a big part of the safety story is child protection. New for 1996, an integrated child safety seat allows the securing of younger children. This seat is optional on Lumina models with the custom cloth or leather seat. The panels fold down from the seat back and lie flat with clips that secure the four-point belt together. You'll note that on PRISM models equipped with the integrated child safety seat, the bottom flap tucks underneath. Standard child security rear door locks on Luminous help prevent children from accidentally opening the doors from inside. And a lockout feature for the available power windows prevents children from playing with the rear window controls. This little resistor chip on the ignition key means that the Lumina and Monte Carlo are equipped with the Passkey 2 anti-theft system, which prevents the car from being started without the correct key. The standard power team in the Lumina and Monte Carlo LS is the responsive 3100 V6 with 160 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds of peak torque. But this performance is only part of the story. This engine is quiet. In fact, it's so quiet sometimes it's hard to know when it's idling. The standard transmission is the smooth shifting, electronically controlled, four-speed automatic with overdrive that helps both the Lumina and Monte Carlo achieve excellent fuel economy ratings. Standard on the Monte Carlo Z34 and optional on the Lumina LS is the enhanced 3.4 liter dual overhead cam V6. For 1996, the horsepower is up 5 to 215 and the torque is up 5 to 220 foot-pounds for responsive acceleration and passing. On all Lumina and Monte Carlo models, a four-wheel independent suspension is standard, allowing one wheel to take a bump or pothole without affecting the other wheels. The tuned McPherson struts, front and rear stabilizer bars, and coil springs help provide a smooth ride with responsive handling. On the outside, the car was designed to have a completely integrated one-piece look from the front to the rear. And with a large glass area and low cowl, the driver has an excellent view of the road. Another reason why the car is so quiet inside is because steps have been taken to isolate the sounds of the engine, road, and outside traffic. The fiberglass headliner insulation, sandwich steel construction behind the engine wall, and triple door seals all help contribute to the interior quiet. Inside, there are also a host of standard comfort and convenience features like tilt steering wheel, power door locks, intermittent wipers, air conditioning, and built-in cup holders. On the Z34, the sound systems include volume and tuning controls on the steering wheel here and here, and an optional individual driver and front passenger temperature control allows separate settings because some like it hot and others not. From the five mile per hour bumpers front and rear to the Chevrolet Customer Care Program, Lumina and Monte Carlo are easy to own after the sale. When they were designed, Chevrolet had specific quality, reliability, and durability targets to make these vehicles world class. J.D. Power's latest initial quality studies show that Lumina and Monte Carlo hit the bullseye. Both of these vehicles are rated well above average, with the Lumina climbing into the prestigious Under 75 Club, a true testament to quality reliability and durability. And it's just that reason why the 1996 Lumina and Monte Carlo are the value-rich choices with uncompromised quality in the mid-size sedan and coupe markets. This is the 1996 Impala SS.
Its style and performance characteristics have placed it in high demand. Along with the Caprice Classic, it provides a full-size buyer with safety, roominess, luxury, and outstanding trailer towing capability. Feature for feature, the Caprice Classic and Impala SS are the best full-size values in America. This year will be buyer's last chance to get the Caprice and Impala SS, cars that have a lot of tradition, history, and a group of loyal buyers behind them. And that's a great opportunity for you. For 1996, the Caprice Classic will be built in both four-door sedan and station wagon models, while the stylish and sporty Impala SS sedan will also be available. Like all Chevrolet cars, 1996 marks the addition of the OBD2 system. OBD2 stands for a second generation of onboard diagnostics, a system that will help analyze engine and emissions performance and alert the driver when there's a possible problem. This smart system will also indicate when the performance is not up to requirements. Cheryl Balsley worked on the OBD2 system for Chevrolet's V8 engines and explains its features and operations. There are two modes that OBD2 can control the service engine soon light in. There's a steady on light, which indicates that a malfunction has been detected in an emission related component or system, or a flashing service engine soon light, which indicates that a misfire has been detected in the engine. If the service engine soon light comes on solid, the owner should first go to the owner's manual and check out the various steps that are in there regarding checking fuel quality, making sure the vehicle is not running low on fuel and making sure that you haven't recently driven through deep water getting electrical components in the vehicle wet. If the service engine soon light starts flashing, it indicates that a misfire has been detected in the engine. A misfire can result in higher emissions and damage to emission related components in the engine. If this situation occurs, there's a series of steps to follow in the owner's manual to reduce the load on the engine. That would be avoid climbing steep grades, slow the vehicle down, reduce the weight in the vehicle. And this should get the light from a flashing service engine soon light back to a steady on light. And then the vehicle should be taken into the dealership for service and repair. Also new this year is a floor mounted automatic shifter on the Impala SS for the standard electronically controlled four speed automatic overdrive transmission. It gives the performance oriented Impala SS a more sporty cockpit. And a standard analog tachometer is added on the Impala SS for 1996. It allows the driver to monitor engine revolutions at a glance. There's also a new storage armrest on the Caprice for storing items like cassettes or a wallet out of sight. The Caprice and Impala SS feature a total safety system that includes drivers and passenger side airbags and standard four-wheel anti-lock brakes, a feature you may have to pay extra for on the competition. In the area of security, the standard Passkey 2 anti-theft system uses a resistor pellet embedded into the key. If a thief tries to start a vehicle without the properly coded key, the car's electronic control module will disable both the starter motor and fuel flow, making it impossible to start the car. The standard engine on the Capri sedan is the 4300 V8 that pounds out 200 horsepower. Optional on the Capri sedan and standard on the wagon and this Impala SS is the 5.7 liter V8 engine with 260 horsepower. Both engines are teamed with an electronically controlled four-speed automatic transmission that utilizes a variety of sensors to match the right shift points with the engine's requirements. A comfortable big car ride is a Caprice trademark. Both the Caprice and Impala SS feature an independent short and long arm front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. Coil springs are used at all four wheels to help cushion road bumps, while a front stabilizer bar reduces body roll in tight turns. Lewis Cole, segment planning engineer on the Caprice, helped explain some of the specific suspension features that differentiate the Impala SS. The suspension on the Impala SS is considered to be a much heavier duty suspension than what's on their base Caprice. The increase in the size of the front stabilizer bar, the addition of a rear stabilizer bar allows the car to handle much flatter around corners. We added 17 inch tires and wheels, rear disc brakes, much heavier duty front brakes, and decarbon shocks to really improve the ride of the car. 
Caprice and Impala SS are the only Chevrolet passenger cars to feature full-frame construction. This design, when combined with rear-wheel drive, provides outstanding trailer towing capability for Caprice, up to 5,000 pounds when properly equipped. The Caprice has undergone significant changes since the body style was introduced in 1990, and buyers have made the Impala SS a hit since its introduction. Again, Lewis Cole explains some of the specific styling differences that set the Impala SS apart. Some of the specific differences between the Impala SS and the Caprice are the monochromatic paint scheme that's on the car. All of the chrome has been removed except that around the greenhouse. The wheel openings are all black. We put a spoiler on the deck lid. We blacked out the chrome on the tail lights. The Caprice and Impala SS boast a roomy, comfortable interior that is loaded with comfort and convenience features, like standard air conditioning with R134A refrigerant, tilt steering wheel, and power door locks. Available sound systems feature up to six speakers and can be equipped with a cassette or compact disc player, like this here. The sound systems also include features like speed compensated volume, automatic tone control, and dual playback. The trunk on sedan models has over 20 cubic feet of cargo space. That's enough to carry four sets of golf clubs and additional luggage. And don't forget about the Caprice wagon. It's a great alternative for people who don't want a minivan. The wagon features a multi-purpose tailgate that can be either folded down or swung out like a door. And with eight passenger capacity, or 92.7 cubic feet of cargo room, the Caprice wagon can carry more cargo than any other station wagon. The Caprice and Impala SS boast many of the easy-to-own features that are standard on other Chevrolet cars. Features like spill-resistant Scotchgard fabric protector on the cloth seat fabric and carpeting, and Chevrolet's genuine customer care program. Once again, in 1996, Caprice will feature the popular marketing cars. These cars are well-contented and value-priced for full-size buyers, starting with the value-leading Caprice Classic Sedan with PEG 1SA. It includes features like rear reading lamps, power antenna, and heated rear-view mirrors. The feature vehicle is for buyers wanting added luxury. Package 1SC adds remote keyless entry, Twilight Sentinel, a custom interior package, and more. Wagon buyers will want package 1SD while the sporty Impala SS is loaded as the full-size luxury performance sedan of choice. Several generations have grown up with Caprices and Impalas. My dad used to own them. We had a 67, a 70, a 74, all the way down the line. There are a lot of buyers out there who will want that last chance at getting their hands on a 1996 Caprice or Impala SS. For them, these cars mean only one thing, uncompromised full-size value and the 1996 Caprice Classic Sedan and Wagon and Impala SS epitomize this value. A value that means genuine Chevrolet. Thanks for watching. The Camaro has been an American favorite for almost 30 years. A buyer's first impression is of a stylish and sporty car that looks pricey. But upon closer examination, buyers find a car with the performance and safety features they want at a price they can afford. In the highly competitive sport and convertible segments, fun is an important purchase motivator. And well, the Camaro is fun. Camaro is available in sporty two-door coupes and open-air convertible models. The base Camaro offers an excellent value for the dollar, while the new RS includes up-level styling enhancements. The high-powered Z28 completes the lineup with a standard 5.7-liter LT1 V8 engine for maximum performance. There is a lot of product news for Camaro in 1996. The big story is under the hood. The 3800 V6 replaces the 3.4 liter as the new standard engine with expanded choices. Here's Katie Wilde's 3800 engineer. 
For 1996, the 3800 engine, which was optional in 95, now becomes the standard engine for the Camaro. It is replacing the 3.4 and it has improved performance, improved emissions for the same fuel economy. With the 3800, there are two axle ratios available for the automatic and there's also a new five-speed manual transmission paired with the 3800. The automatic transmission with the 3800 will also feature a second gear starting capability to help reduce wheel slippage in snowy or icy conditions. Just push the second gear start button and the electronic controls lock out first gear. The car will launch from second. This puts less torque to the rear wheels and helps to reduce wheel spin. And Camaros with the 3800 can be equipped with a new Y87 performance package. It includes a dual exhaust, a quicker steering gear, four-wheel disc brakes, and a limited slip rear axle. 235 Touring tires and aluminum wheels are required options with this package. As I mentioned earlier, the popular RS model returns in 96 with the 3800 V6 engine and unique body styling features. It includes ground effects, a three-piece spoiler, aluminum wheels, and P235 tires. Whether your customers choose base or RS models, a new 125 mile per hour speedometer is standard. Camaro also offers a new available theft deterrent system with alarm that's included with the top peg on all models. It's activated when the doors are locked using the remote keyless entry fob and can be programmed by the customer to sound the horn and or light the lights if someone tampers with the car. A small flashing light on the top of the instrument panel alerts passers-by that the alarm is active. Also, a panic button on the key fob lets the driver sound the alarm in an emergency. The owner's manual provides added info on how to program and operate the system. There's good news for the LT1 engine on the Z28 as well. Here's Jeff Yaknin of the 1996 Camaro launch team. For 1996, the LT1 is rated at 285 horsepower compared to 275 horsepower in 1995. We've improved the characteristics of the exhaust system, which allows us to rate the system at the higher rating for 1996. And that's at 5,200 RPM, 285 horsepower, torque is 325 foot-pounds at 2400 RPM. As for appearance changes, Camaro will offer new interior fabric and material for the cloth seats. And cool, comfortable air conditioning will now be standard on all models except the price leader base coupe with a manual transmission. Camaro's total safety system features standard crush zones, driver and passenger side airbags, and anti-lock brakes. And Camaro Coupe is designed to meet 1997 Federal Dynamic Side Impact Standards today. In fact, in 1995, the National Highway Traffic Safety Association gave Camaro Coupe a five-star rating for driver and front passenger safety in frontal fixed barrier testing. Theft protection is also important to Camaro buyers. Standard on all models is the Passkey 2 theft deterrent system that has helped reduce Camaro thefts substantially since its introduction. For even greater security, there's also the optional alarm system I mentioned earlier. It's tied to the remote keyless entry system that can lock and unlock doors from a distance of 30 feet. The Camaro features two proven powerful engines. The new standard 3800 features 200 peak horsepower with comparable fuel economy to last year's less powerful 3.4 liter V6, while the Z28's standard 5.7 liter LT1 boasts 285 peak horsepower and 325 foot-pounds of torque. Both engines are available with manual or electronically controlled automatic transmissions for a choice in efficient gearboxes. The Z28 can also be equipped with acceleration slip regulation, which helps reduce wheel slip on wet and snowy roads. The Camaro's appearance is highlighted by a wedge-shaped front nose and headlamp sockets that house four halogen headlamps. From front to back, the smooth flowing lines give it a classic look that's flexible enough to meet a variety of customer desires. 
The RS model and Z28 both include specific styling enhancements. The Z28 coupe includes special badging and a black roof treatment. Base and RS coupes with T-tops also feature black roofs. But T-top buyers can order the monochromatic roof option, which makes the roof and mirrors body colored. T-top coupes are fun and stylish with either roof treatment, and for your customers, they're a great economic alternative to the convertible. What's more, T-tops aren't available from any other major competitor. That gives your dealership a fantastic sales opportunity. Underlying Camaro's sleek aerodynamic styling is an extensive use of RIM and SMC composite materials. These composites are molded to create Camaro's dramatic look on the front fenders, fascia, roof, doors, hatch, and spoiler. Because they're not steel, they help reduce weight and will never rust. The RIM fenders are also flexible enough to absorb minor parking lot dings. To help protect Camaro right up to delivery time, Transseal, a latex emulsion, is applied to body surfaces. It protects against nicks, scratches, or abrasions that can occur during assembly or when the vehicle is in transit. Be sure your car prep department is careful to remove any Transseal overspray. Inside, the Camaro has a true sports car cockpit with the comfort and convenience that buyers demand and the available features they desire. Standard convenience items include intermittent wipers, tilt wheel, and a cup holder. Sound systems include a standard cassette with four speakers. All coupes can be equipped with the available Delco Bose system with five extended range speakers in cassette or CD player versions. These speakers are designed to provide exceptional sound reproduction. Just because the Camaro is stylish, it doesn't sacrifice on versatility. The coupe features a hatchback design with greater cargo room than a Mustang coupe. The Camaro also offers easy-to-own features that will help out after the sale. Along with the Chevrolet Genuine Customer Care Package, Camaro has long-life coolant and platinum tip spark plugs. Both can go 100,000 miles before the first scheduled maintenance under normal driving conditions. And Camaro offers a low oil level indicator which warns the driver to add a quart of oil before it's too late. Whether it's a coupe or a convertible, base Camaro, RS model, or Z28, sports car buyers will find that this car leads with exceptional safety and performance features at a value that spells genuine Chevrolet. Few cars stir the soul like Corvette. It's truly an American legend. And even people who aren't car enthusiasts recognize it on the street. For those who buy Corvette, it's often the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. Interest in Corvette will be especially strong this year among enthusiasts and collectors because 1996 is the last year for the current generation model. The next Corvette, codenamed C5, is an all-new model. But no matter if someone is a first-time Corvette buyer or a long-time owner, Chevrolet research shows they have high expectations of how they want to be treated at your dealership. And one of their biggest demands is to work with a salesperson who is product knowledgeable. This program, along with a copy of the Corvette owner's video that was sent to your dealership, will help build your foundation of product knowledge on the 1996 Corvette. For 1996, both Corvette Coupe and Convertible are available as the base model with a special collector's edition package or with the exciting Grand Sport package. Both the collector's edition and Grand Sport are new and exclusive packages for 1996. The collector's edition commemorates the final year of the fourth generation Corvette. All collector's edition cars are Sebring Silver Metallic. They have special insignias on the hood, fuel filler door and front fenders, along with five-spoke argent color wheels and black painted calipers, which include raised Corvette lettering on the front calipers. Inside, there's a choice of torch red, black, or gray trim, featuring special collector's edition embroidery on each headrest. 
The Grand Sports Admiral Blue Body, White Racing Stripe, and Red Driver's Side Front Fender Hash Marks replicate the bold look of the five specially built racing Grand Sports from the early 60s. The Grand Sport package also includes rear fender flares, black five-spoke wheels, black painted calipers, and special badging on the front fenders. Inside, there's a choice of a black and red combo interior, which has red seats and door trim with black carpeting, or all black interior trim. The seats also have Grand Sport embroidery on the headrests. Under the hood, Corvette delivers a one-two punch in 1996 with the newly available LT4 engine, in addition to the venerable LT1 V8. Required with the Grand Sport package and available on all other Corvettes, the LT4 delivers the highest as-installed horsepower ever from a small block V8 based on today's net rating system. It's rated at 330 horsepower and 340 foot-pounds of torque. Specific design enhancements that were made to increase the engine's power include larger intake ports on the manifold and cylinder heads, piston modifications to increase the compression ratio to 10.8 to 1, a modified camshaft with higher lifts, and hollow valve stems. The LT4 also includes several red appearance accents and a special Grand Sport identification badge on the top of the throttle body assembly. Corvettes equipped with the LT4 also received the 8,000 RPM tachometer that was previously used in ZR1. The LT4 is teamed exclusively with the six-speed manual transmission, while the LT1 is mated only with the four-speed automatic for 1996. Both engines also received the new OBD2, Onboard Diagnostics Second Generation Emissions Monitoring System. Finally, for 1996, Corvette introduces a new optional selective real-time damping suspension system. The system can adjust the damping of each shock absorber independently within a fraction of a second to provide a smooth, controlled ride. Corvette has all of the occupant protection features you'd expect. Things like a steel safety cage that surrounds the cockpit and dual airbags. The three-point safety belts also have a cinch feature that locks the lap belts in place to help maintain a firm seating position. Normally, the lap belt is free moving. But when you press the cinch button, the belt locks in place. There's also a long list of accident avoidance features including heated outside rear view mirrors. When you turn on the standard rear window defroster, you're also activating the heating elements in the mirrors. This helps ensure good all-around visibility. A big part of Corvette's safety story is how well the driver is able to control the vehicle. Working in conjunction with its standard four-wheel anti-lock brake system, Corvette's acceleration slip regulation, traction control, helps enhance the driver's ability to control the vehicle. When the ASR control module senses wheel slip, it utilizes the appropriate combination of throttle relaxation, engine spark retard, and brake intervention to help make the best use of available traction. This demonstration illustrates how effective the system is on low traction surfaces. Clearly the Corvette with ASR active is able to move out ahead of the Corvette in which ASR is turned off. When ASR activates the throttle relaxer, the driver will feel feedback in the accelerator pedal. ASR is automatically turned on every time the car is started. To turn the system off, press the on-off switch located here above the light controls. When the system is off, the ASR off light will illuminate on the driver information center. Corvette's performance also plays an important role in the driver's ability to control the vehicle. As I mentioned earlier, there are two engine and transmission combinations available for the 1996 Corvette. The LT1 is teamed with a four-speed automatic transmission. It generates 300 horsepower and 340 foot-pounds of torque. The LT4 is coupled with a six-speed manual transmission. It boosts horsepower to 330 and generates 340 foot-pounds of torque. The Grand Sport must be ordered with the LT4 manual combination while all other Corvettes can be equipped with either setup. One of the most significant Corvette performance innovations to come along is the introduction of the optional selective real-time damping suspension system for 1996. The system utilizes sophisticated motion sensors and adjustable shock absorbers at each wheel, 
along with a fast-acting control module. RTD utilizes the same control switch on the center console as the previous FX3 selective ride control system. Drivers can choose touring, sport, or performance, depending on the firmness of ride they desire. But unlike the old FX3, which based damping levels only on the setting of the switch and vehicle speed, RTD also factors in wheel velocity, which is the up and down motion of the wheel and several different body velocities. The RTD control module is reading the sensors every millisecond. That means if the car is traveling 60 miles per hour, it's actually getting a signal for every inch of pavement travel. But what's even more important is the fact that the system can also react quickly. It's so fast that the damping at each shock can be independently adjusted in as fast as 10 milliseconds. That equals less than a foot of road travel at 60 miles per hour. Now let's turn our attention to Corvette's appearance. Corvette is the only Chevrolet passenger car with an all-composite fiberglass body. Since it was first introduced in 1953, Corvette's bodies have always been fiberglass. Along with the fact that it never rusts, over the years, fiberglass has given GM stylists the ability to create body designs that are uniquely Corvette. The Corvette care segment in the owner's video includes valuable information on how owners can maintain their vehicles including tips on washing, waxing, and cleaning the interior. Here in the cockpit, Corvette offers a variety of comfort and convenience features. Leather seating surfaces, power windows, air conditioning, and an AM-FM stereo with cassette player are all standard. Special Corvette owner convenience items include a delayed accessory feature that allows you to operate the windows and sound system once the ignition is turned off for up to 15 minutes or until the door is open. Passive keyless entry is also an exclusive to Corvette. When it's programmed, this key fob is continually sending out a low frequency radio signal. As the driver approaches the car, the system automatically unlocks the vehicle and disarms the security alarm. At night, the interior lights also illuminate. When the driver leaves the vehicle, the system automatically locks the doors and sets the alarm. See the Feature Operation segment of the owner's video for a complete overview of PKE operation and programming. Finally, like on all Chevrolet passenger cars, there are many features and after-the-sale services that make Corvette easy to own. As an added customer service, Corvette owners can also call the Corvette Action Center to get answers to product and service-related questions. The Action Center is located right at the Bowling Green Assembly Plant and is staffed by knowledgeable Corvette product specialists. You can reach the Action Center at 1-800-457-VET or 502-745-8101. The 1996 model carries on the Corvette tradition proudly. It represents a continuing evolution of performance and technology, yet still maintains a character that is uniquely Corvette.